has elected to do because of their own reasons or vanities. It's not as if they're like removing a lump. It's not as if it's a it's cancer or it's life threatening. So that's what I mean by it's a personal elective choice. Whether you want to call it vanity, people don't want to have kids because they don't have money to afford the kids, or because they just they want to have a certain lifestyle, or whatever the case may be. And you got people for their own personal reasons who are choosing to have sex change operations or these transition operations. I mean, I see a connection. Tanika writes, uh, not the same, Nate. At times, C-sections are selective. At times, sex changes should be self-pay. It's not medically necessary, and that's the issue. Well, it's not medically necessary to get a tubal ligation. It's not medically necessary. It's not medically necessary to get a vasectomy. I mean, my life isn't in danger. I just don't want to have any more children. You know, we, we got son. We got a daughter. Boom. We got our two. We out. Deuces. I'm not doing it because of cancer or a health scare or threat to my health. I'm doing it because I want to do it. That's why. It's the same thing with these transition operations. I see it, but we can agree to disagree. I respect your opinion. Casey writes, good morning, Nate. I'm late, but I had to drop by this morning. Smile. I'm glad, Casey. I'm glad. Crystal writes, why all the hate for LeBron question mark? I can't really understand it. Neither do I, Crystal. I swear to you. This ain't just radio fodder. Okay. I honestly do not understand. Again, just last night, I'm out with a friend and we're talking about it. I don't understand these Ohioans. You love basketball, but you hate LeBron. I don't get it. Somebody help, help, help me with this. Ronda writes, it's funny how when the Warriors was winning a series 3-1, we didn't hear anything about the game being rigged. Now that they're losing, now the games are being rigged. I'm just saying. Great flow to Ronda. Excellent flow. Recognize. Flow, recognize, flow. Jericho writes, the Gilligans in my book are the parents who neglected the warning signs and allowed their toddler to wade into alligator-infested water. I'm with you, Jerrica. But we're not allowed to say that. We're not allowed to blame the parents. And I understand. I mean, this is a very sensitive time. They just lost a child. And, you know, when a person loses a child, you want to come right in and criticize them. But, or however, if there were signs that says, do not get in the water, don't get in the water. There's just some people that are just drawn to water. I don't know what it is. There's just some, I've seen it. Uh, If you go to Eden Park, they've got two man-made lakes. One is nastier than the, the next one. I mean, on the nasty water level, they're at about a, a seven. I mean, the only reason why it's not even higher is because I can't remember any confirmed cases of people getting sick. But believe it or not, I have seen people wade into that nasty water, put their feet in the water. I mean, some people are just toe danglers. They want to put their toes in the water. And I, I, I what the hell? What the hell? I've got, I don't want to put my toes in the water, man. Now, I've got like a little personal foot scrubber tub. Most people have this. You plug it up, it vibrates. And that's supposed to be a damn massage because it's vibrating. And then your feet, you know, the friction against, I don't know what these things are called, but it's kind of like ergonomical in the sense that, you know, they've got these pressure points that you can put your feet on. And then when it shakes, it's kind of like I'm a damn massage. That ain't no damn massage, man. This thing holds water and it shakes. It vibrates back and forth. I'm talking about a foot massage. A damn foot massage. But I'm down with that. You know, long day work, uh, long week of work. You know, put your feet in a little water. You know what I'm saying? You want to break out your, you know, the tools you use to keep your feet nice and soft. I mean, you are using tools to keep your feet nice and soft, right? Okay. No damn boomerang up in here, ladies. That's one thing. But every time you, oh, I want to put my feet in the lake. I mean, no, I'm not putting my feet in the lake. I'm not doing it. Man-made lake, I ain't doing it. Tiffany writes, uh, well, let me back up here. Uh, Crystal writes, Mateen's wife will definitely be charged. She knew, didn't report it. And we need someone to pay for this massacre. Two and two is always four. I'm just saying great logic, Crystal. I agree with her. We do need someone to blame. And blaming ISIS and ISIL is not enough. Speaking of which, just yesterday, 
the director of the CIA spoke before Congress. It was not the entire Congress, but it was one of their committees. I think it was the Senate, the Senate Intelligence Committee, as a matter of fact. Very powerful committee. And he talked about the threat that ISIS is to the United States. And a lot of people are saying that he contradicted the president. Now, here's what I mean. Let me set the table straight. So what happened in Florida goes down. Okay. Two day, well, within 24 hours, the president had already made a response. I thought it was very early, but, uh, you know, some circumstances are cut and dry. I guess they understood it was terrorism and what was going on and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Right. So he comes back to the America, to the American people and says, listen, we are going to stop ISIL. Okay. We're going to shut them down. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to bring them the heel, so to speak. Right. Bring them the heel. There's that term. Thanks, Hillary. Thanks, Hillary. We're going to bring them to heel, right? So what? Just yesterday, though, the CIA director says that essentially, and get this. Now, I don't know where this is true or not, but you need to know this. This is so important. The CIA director, he goes to the Senate intelligence committee and he's debriefing and assessing or giving an assessment of the threat level of ISIS or ISIL. Okay. Do you know to know what this man said? This man said that with all the money spent, all the bombs over Baghdad, all the drone strikes, all the super technology at the hands of the United States. And we've barely made a dent into ISIS. Now, that's what I want to know is rigged. Not the NBA game. Is this war on terror rigged? And here's what I mean. Is it rigged so we'll always be in a war on terror? I mean, with all the so-called bad guys that we killed, all of the smart bomb applications, all this footage. I mean, how long has this war on terror been going on, right? Since 2000, what, three? And ISIS... And of course, they weren't around then. Back then, the big threat was bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. But you're telling me that ISIS is still fully operational, that we barely made a dent, they can still reach out and touch the United States? The CIA director said that ISIS may have assets already in the country. Uh, he said that ISIS and our ISIL may be using, you know, existing um existing lines in which, you know, people are coming into the country, whether that be legal or illegal means, and that some of their agents, for lack of a better term, may have infiltrated those systems, right, of entry into the country. I mean, if this man didn't really just play right into the fear mongering and everything that the Republican Party has been saying, I don't know what he did. And that was huge. So what I want to know is that system rigged. I mean, is he is this hyperbole, you know, just to get more money for the effort against uh, the so-called terrorist? Uh, was his flow a sobering reality? You know what I'm saying? Compared to the the rose colored, rosy situation that the president sometimes is accused of painting. I don't know, but I thought that was very, very interesting. I mean, we're spending billions of dollars every single year. And every time I see the images, of these individuals, I guess, I don't know if this is stock footage. I don't know where they got this stuff, but it, it's always like some desert. And there's a bunch of guys that look like Muslims and they've got scarves and things all around them and sandals and they got AK-47s and rocket launchers. And I'm like, is this some kind of military exercise? I mean, is this actual footage from someone who was embedded i don't know what it is or or here's my other favorite one okay or they'll do a cut shot of the terrorists and they're training it's like the desert okay they're dressed from head to toe in black face is covered head is covered i mean the only thing that's not covered is their hands and a slit for their nose and their eyes and that's it and they're like going through the obstacle course and I mean, they're like going through Steph Curry's pregame, you know, warm-up routine. And they're in the desert. They're like going through the monkey bars. It's like, who the hell put monkey bars in the desert? It's like the damn NFL combine out there. They're like running through, they're running through the tires. 
they take a left to the cone and they sprint all the way back. Then they jump through the moat. I'm like, where can we update our footage, our stock footage, the news I'm speaking of, uh, the various news outlets as it relates to ISIS? And I mean, <laughs> it's always the same. Or when the cable news networks start talking about ISIL, they'll show an image of like some really, really dangerous looking folks who appear to be Muslim and they've got scarves on and they're like marching or they're like riding in a tank. <laughs> like there's gotta be some middle ground. Okay. There's gotta be some middle ground. That is deep. So that's the system. I like to know crystal rice. Mr. Ivy will Steph be fine. Question mark suspended question mark. People are already calling for it. Is there a president? Check B-Ball case law, LOL. Well, here's what's going to happen. The, the the good folks at the National Basketball Association, they review all of, I don't know they review every single file, but when someone gets ejected, that's something that's reviewable. So they're going to go back and either say, well, the refs should not have ejected this individual or here's what should have happened. It just sets up some really interesting psychological dynamics, right? Psychodynamics in the next game. That's it. Because Steph's going to be coming blazing. Draymond Green's going to be coming. And then you got LeBron James and his merry band of basketball players. His motley crew of basketball players, LeBron James and Kyrie Irving. Where the hell is Kevin Love? Where is Kevin Love? And you're talking about a man who's trying too hard. Uh, Carolyn writes, lately I've been seeing LGBTQ. What's the Q for? Uh, Brent writes, queer. I believe he's right. Mila, good morning to you. Uh, She writes, Curry did apologize to the fan he hit, LOL. I mean, but after somebody hits you in the face with a mouthpiece that they've been chewing on for an hour, is a sorry really going to do it? I mean, can you sign the mouthpiece? That way I may be able to... Uh, put it online or something like that. To Nikki Rice, uh, true Jerrica, now that's a problem. Omar writes, Steph Curry was fired up and pissed off. Reminded me of Kobe. Hope he scores 60 in game seven. What? 60? If he does, I hope it's a losing effort, Omar. I'll be honest with you. Edward writes, wow, so men getting sniped, women getting their cords tied, is the same as transgendering? Shaking my head. You hear something new every day. No, I'm not saying it's the same. Come on now. We understand there's some differences. What I'm saying is, in terms of an employer providing insurance coverage, it's very similar. It's very similar. Because it's a non-life-threatening procedure that people are electing to do. And that's the, that's the, the strongest connection I got for you. That's what I'm saying, Ed. Okay, because we were talking about in Cincinnati Public or the Cincinnati Public or the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library, I believe, is the exact title. Uh, they got an issue on their hand from a disgruntled employee who wants the, their insurance to cover a, a sex change operation. That's it. Uh, Deanna writes, I beg to differ, Nathan. After three C-sections, my doctor highly suggested no more pregnancies for me. So having my tubes tied was not a choice. Okay, that circumstance is different. Okay, there's going to be an exception here or there to every rule, but the rule still stands. That's different. And see, Deanna, it sounds to me like your doctor is saying or told you that that was a health issue. That's different. That's completely different. Ed writes, that mouthpiece hit one of the Cavs' owner's son, LOL. That's what I'm hearing, really. I thought it hit a man. T-Bone writes, the person hit with spit is one of the owner's son. Ugh. Uh, Terrence writes, what up, Terrence? He writes, junior, no look. Over the back, oop, to LeBron. Oh, no, no. He writes, JR, no look. Over the back, oop, to LeBron was the shh. That game was crazy. Yeah, LeBron has some – woo, he has some amazing plays. He has some amazing dunks. Amazing. It was fun to watch. And the team that I was rooting for was winning. That makes it even better. 
Uh, Kevin Newman writes, uh, if a possible employer that hates black people, he can see you're black on the interview. But if a possible employer hates gay people, he doesn't know that on the interview. So there is a big difference between being black and being gay.